The owner of the ill-fated Wapato Jail says he plans to demolish the building and put up a warehouse instead. Jordan Schnitzer says he made the decision after more than a year of trying to turn Wapato into a homeless shelter. Elise Haas is live now with more, and I know that uh, Schnitzer is disappointed about having to do this, isn't he? He's very disappointed and, of course, frustrated, too, because he's had big dreams to turn this Wapato facility into a homeless shelter. But obviously, the biggest news of today is that after all of this time, he's now decided to tear it down in two months' time. And it's no secret that he's been working for these past 18 months to try and get the right players and people together in order to make this happen. However, there's been a long debate over if this building is in the right place or if it's the right um, facility for homeless individuals and of course it always comes down to money and funding and where will it come from in order to run this but after all of this time she just says that he has an internal conflict because it takes him tens of thousands of dollars to maintain it a month and also an in interest so he would rather spend that money philanthropically than let this empty building sit here and of course so right now it's going to cost him about a million dollars to demolish it and he already has three bids to build a warehouse now this is a a really long press conference this morning went on for over an hour and there's a lot of different people who came here from providers to longtime recovered addicts to folks who were previously homeless and even people from Portland police coming forward to talk about this facility and the potential that they see in it. However, they don't have the political backing and the funding that they need in order for it to go through. So in two weeks time, you know, is basically all that there really is left. Some people are very hopeful that maybe somebody will come forward to try and make that change. But other than that, if no one does and no politicians come forward or anyone from the private sector or public sector, then ultimately this is probably the last of Wapato as we know it. Ken and Jenny. Yeah, $58 million to build, never housed a single inmate, and uh, it's got beds, kitchen facilities, yeah. everything, and, and to think that it would be uh, torn down and turned into a warehouse is disappointing for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, not just Jordan Schnitzer. Thanks a lot.